Okay. Well, yeah, let's show it. Um, so, I don't know if anybody remembers this, this device called the clapper. Honey, turn off the light. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Presenting the clapper. Let your appliances turn on and off just by clapping. Clap on the music. It's easy. Just plug the clapper. Doesn't it? It seems like it should be like a Saturday Night Live, one of the fake commercials. Right. Like you're waiting for Dana Some... Carvey to come on and. Dana know, Carvey, like... wow. Remember? Right. Classic. Okay. Um, so we're going to build something like that. When you clap your hands, it's caused this video to start and stop. And it's all made up of stuff we already showed in previous just, you know, screencasts for in this uh, in this group. Um, so what do we need? We need a microphone to tell us what the what's happening. Sound uh, input. Sound input. So you turn on the mic. Right now we're multiplying it by 1.0, which doesn't have an effect on the on the signal. Just you know this, but we could amplify it or turn it turn it down if we needed to. That's going into peak amp 20. So every 20 milliseconds, peak amp is telling us what the <clears throat> amplitude of the sound is. That typically goes from a, a zero value up to a one value. Um, so that's going going into a smoother. So this is the smoother thing, the one pole smoother. And that takes a parameter uh, between zero and one for how, depending on how much smoothing you want to do. So we could set our smoothing just sort of halfway up here. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a little less because we're, what we're doing, we don't really need a lot of smoothing here. So um, that value then comes down and around and into this, uh, this value thing, this just so we can see what's going on. But really what we're doing is we're just going into this past object. So when my voice value coming from peak amp goes past a certain threshold. So here we can set the threshold. So let's say, uh, what's a clap do? Oh, a clap goes all the way to the top. So I want it to be above my normal vocal level. Mm -hmm. So I can see my vocal level only goes up to about here. And I don't want my voice to trigger it. So let's set the threshold to be up there. And uh, that way I won't trigger it. So when I go past that, it should trigger a bang here. Okay, so I clap my hands and it goes up. So the bang comes around and into this toggle. The toggle generates a zero or a one, uh, depending on which state it was already in. And then that zero one's gonna go into a select object that you know will split out the zero one so that it triggers either the start or the stop button on our movie player. So we have to have our movie loaded. So I've got this train footage here and we turn on our Metro. So now we should be able to trigger these start and stop buttons by clapping our hands. Let's see. Stopped it. Started it. Stopped it. Started it. Success. You yeah, did it. it worked. It seems like a long way to go to just to get that simple. <laughs> Don't Sorry. knock over the microphone. <laughs> so that's pretty much the clapper. Uh, you know, the clapper expected two claps, and eventually we'll show you show a demo on how to actually make it so that it, it only you have to clap twice within a certain period. Um, that shouldn't. Be, it's just one minor. That would be like one minor addition to this system. So uh, here's how you get a video to start and stop. All right. Any questions? No questions. Not yet. Any? What did I miss? Um, I don't think you missed anything. What would be confusing here? I think, okay, that's actually a really good question because I think that there is a lot of stuff here that isn't, it's helpful but not imperative. So we could actually take, there's out of P smoother, we're getting a numeric da data value. Yeah. We can send that data value directly into past. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, I see. So we could simplify the hell out of this. Right. Okay. So I'm just yeah. saying you could. We could. Let's just do it real quick. So we'll simplify the hell out of this and just like take out everything that's extraneous. We don't even need that. So we go smoother into past. And what, what past was like 0. 0.8 or something. Yeah, Oops. somewhere around there. 0. 0.85. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, you don't need, I was putting all that stuff in for like simplicity. Oh, or, I mean, know, it, for it, it gives purposes. a really good visual understanding of But things. it all still, yeah, I mean, it all still works now. So even though you don't have all that stuff, it's still, yeah, I see. That's a good point. What else can we take away that you don't really need? Um, you need the Metro. You don't need this bang here. No, you don't. So Metro is just sending frames. You could technically send the peak amp 20 without the number box, right? but you I mean, need that. it Good goes. Point. Okay, and you know, frankly, you don't need that. So you could just do this straight in. Let's see. 
Yeah. And then we could really condense this and make it much simpler. Oops. There we go. Yeah. Good point. All right.